Dr. Lumpus Dumpus. The girl, let her go! <clears throat> Shut up! Come closer! It'll kill her! Sorry, but you're not gonna get that, or get the chance. Who is this? Bang. Bang. Who knows? What a mystery. What a enticing mystery. Ren, are you like eating something currently? No, I was just moving something, sorry. Oh, I'm reading through the <laughs> file of an old court case. It was the first case of my longtime mentor, Mia Fey. Yeah, sorry, Ham's not here, so I can have to take over as Phoenix currently. If you want, I can take over Phoenix. I can do my best Phoenix voice. Mountain. Jesus, what the, it is uh, enticing. Alright, go ahead. Take it. Take over. <clears throat> Very, uh, the, pff, okay, you know what? That was a whole year before me and I ever met. That's. I think this is auto-scroll, so I don't think you guys will read it fast enough. Yeah. Hello. Damn it, trust Hello. Hey, Jay, what's up? Six years earlier, Mia Fey, first trial. I'm tired, but I have cane, so I'm better. <laughs> Beautiful. Ugh, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm going to die. Same. I never should have accepted this case. Eek! Uh, Ginger, you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, good morning! Don't be so jumpy, Maya. Mia, wrong kid. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't do nothing, I swear! I didn't kill nobody! Very flawless. My first client. Senses of death five years ago. Now a, pr a prison escapee. Just relax, Mia. Might make small talk try and try to relax him. Er, uh, um... So why did you escape anyway? Uh, 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 eek, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, that was. Eek, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't do nothing. I didn't kill nobody. I never, I never lied. I didn't escape from nowhere. Ugh. <coughs> the, flawless. the police just recaptured you two days ago. <coughs> sorry. A total little lie. Oh, you look so sad. Oh, <laughs> you got the puppy dog eyes. Oh god, my voice is gonna give out. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, I didn't do it. I never killed nobody. Um, sorry for asking, but you're on death row, right? Oh. Uh, uh, eek. Oh, well, wait, I keep. <laughs> really? Really sorry. <clears throat> they sent. Uh, I the, I can't. I can't. I give up. I just... All right, fine. I'll take over. They sentenced me to death five years ago, but I was tricked. I tell you, that woman. She lied in her testimony. That's why I got the death penalty. I swear it. I didn't kill her. I could never do that. Two days ago, he escaped from the police wagon. When it crashed, then about eight hours later. The policeman was murdered before the policeman could recapture him. The police believe that Terry Fallis did it. Um, after you escaped, did you meet a policewoman? Yeah, I did. She's the reason I escaped. So, that much is true. He did meet with the victim. But I didn't kill her! She was alive when I left! She's alive, it's true! I can trust him, right? I mean, I should. Ha. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh, hola, mi amigos! Look at me! 
My eyes! I have fucking eyes! Holy shit! Wait, is this him? Wait, this is without the mask? <gasps> Tis I. Can we? We gotta show Mars! <laughs> oh my... Dude, Mars... You gotta fucking at Mars, because they're missing out big time. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. You're not going to figure out the truth just by staring at the guy. You're... you're... Why are you here? I came to see how our little kitten was doing all alone in the big, no. scary lion's den. No. <laughs> I thought maybe you'd like someone to play with. Wow, I am already getting started tonight, eh? Uh, uh, where's Mr. Grossberg? Currently making out with his boyfriend. Sorry, you have me. Ha! That old man is probably still in bed with another man. I bet he's clenching an empty bottle and mumbling in his sleep. Oh, dear God, Red White, please, please, give me everything. Aren't I good enough? After all, it's me, Diego Armando. I got a name now. This is really fucking weird. Wow. I didn't say... So, Diego Armando, the finest attorney at Grossberg's law office is here for me. Oh, baby, I'm always here for you. No. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. Today, you're the finest. After all, it took an amazing amount of guts to take this case. Imagine, an escape death row convict for a first client. Um, uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I... She's just like her sister. <laughs> I sure wish I could get out of this, oh, out of it, though. Ha! <laughs> Relax, I just heard some good news. The prosecutor for today is fresh out of his diapers as well. Really? However, unlike a certain somebody who I won't mention, he's earned a reputation as a genius since beginning his law career. Genius! Well, it's about time to head in, kitten. Sharpen those claws of yours. It's go time. A s s solidarity confinement cell with a comment that must be the wordless place, loneliest place in the world. And that's what my client ran away from. Every other lawyer gave up on him, but not me. When I saw those overflowing eyes, I heard that simple childlike voice. I just had the feeling that he was telling the truth. I feel like I am. I don't know what my voice is doing today. It's record court number four. In fairness, I am also sick. Court is now in session for the trail. Oh wait, hang on. Hang on. We'll, we'll, we'll comment on that later. We'll comment on that later. Uh, who wants to take Canadian judge? Because there's too many voices to do right now. Court is is now in, in, in session for the trial of Terry Flaws. Yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know what Canadian. All right. Court is now in session for the trial of Terry Falls. The defense German accent. I don't think we want that. Can we just make him German? <laughs> no. We already have German people in this game. Back from the dead, assholes! Again! Oh, hell yeah! And I'm young. The prosecution has been ready for a while, your honor. Wait a minute, you're not a man! Get the fuck off the defense! Ow, oh, 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 oh dear. I understand the lawyers for both sides are newcomers. Yes. Your Honor, I'm Mia Fey. Miles Edgeworth, Your Honor. It's Ooh. him. So you're the new prosecutor everyone's talking about, eh? They say you joined the prosecutor's office at quite an early age. At 20, Your Honor, while everyone was getting partying down in college, I was getting my law degree. I guess our little kitten hasn't earned herself much of a reputation yet, huh? It Come on, Mia. You can't lose. Not to someone younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> Young people running a trial. I'm not too sure I feel about that. Now then, the defendant in this case is currently a felon on death row. Two days ago, he escaped from a police wagon. Is that correct? Precisely. 
But the defendant is not on trial for escaping prison. On the day that the defendant escaped, the policewoman was murdered. Murdered. So, here we are to determine if Lawless was responsible for her death. You got it, Keaton. Well then, Mr. Edgeworth, let's hear your opening statement. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, it was five years ago. The defendant, Terry Falls, was sentenced to death in this very court. His crimes were kidnapping, extortion, and murder. The girl he threw off the bridge was only 14 years old. Jesus! Oh, a truly horrible crime. I remember it well. There is no decisive evidence, so the trial was long and protracted. Mm, sorry, mom's burp. Good. Great. Uh, correct, but in the end, what finally decided the case was... A certain witness's testimony. A witness's testimony? The testimony of Detective Valerie Hawthorne, the person who confronted this criminal. She arrested... What? You heard the last name Hawthorne before, right? Maybe. She arrested Miss Falls at the scene and later testified against him. She said she witnessed Mr. Falls throw his young victim into the river. <laughs> for those who are not aware, Eagle River is well known for its powerful current. Most bodies that fall in are never recovered. Well, you know, if you want to murder someone, I guess you could do it there. So, Mr. Hawthorne's testimony was the one that put him away. Well, that policewoman you just mentioned, uh, that wouldn't be, uh... Oh, yeah, the victim. Same woman that was killed two days ago. That's, uh... Police Sergeant Valerie Hawthorne. Aha! I see. The man who was sentenced to death based on her testimony escaped two days ago. With only one thing in his mind. To take revenge against the woman who convicted him. Hmm. Aha! The truth is becoming clear to me now! I can see... Canada! Huh? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's quite obvious that the defendant is guilty. <gasps> we have heard the last name Hawthorne before. Sorry. It was the name of Phoenix's girlfriend. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> it was the same last name of Phoenix's girlfriend. Anyways, Go on. Sorry. Up. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. At least hear the case before you decide on the outcome, Your Honor. Yeah. Ah, uh, watch yourself, Miss Fay. I'm not sure I care for your word choice or your tone of voice. Oh, <gasps> young people these days simply don't know how to respect their elders. But what are you <laughs> going to do, women? No, no. Why, you fucker. Um, you're even younger than me, you hypocrite. Oh, wow, this is a sexist one. This is going to be interesting. Well, now then, Mr. Edgeworth, please call your first witness. I call the detective who was in charge of the initial investigation of this case. Oh, my <gasps> God, another fuck. <laughs> All right, well, witness, state your name and occupation. Uh, Gumshoe, Dick Gumshoe. I'm the homicide detective in charge of the case, sir. I finally got promoted to the detective division half a year ago. Aww. I don't believe anyone asked you about that. Oh, what the- Hey! You got any idea how much work it takes? What- what is it? Uh, you, uh... Oh, you're really gorgeous. Oh. Excuse me? I don't know, seriously! My heart, it's aching for you. <laughs> Detective, quit being creepy! Pull yourself together and try to be professional. Otherwise... I'll write you up on contempt so quick that something other than your heart will ache. Your paycheck! Oh, okay, I got it! Mm, now, Detective, tell us about the incident. Uh, yes, sir, right away! Uh, the victim was Sergeant Valerie Hawthorne, a veteran on the police force. She was stabbed in the back with a knife and died from excessive blood loss. Mm, that much is already stated in the autopsy report. The court would like to hear more details about the incident itself. Uh, yes, sir, I got gotcha. you. Okay, let's take a look at this aerial map of the area here. This is a sketch of Dusky Bridge, an old suspension bridge. And the river that runs under there is Eagle River. 
The victim and the defendant met there, on top of the bridge. After stabbing her in the back, the killer carried the victim back to his car. He was recaptured at a police checkpoint as he was trying to make his getaway, sir. Hmm, I see. I'll take that, thank you. Was the victim's blood found on the bridge? Uh, the victim, Sergeant Valerie Hawthorne, was wearing a thick coat, sir. Unfortunately, no traces of blood were found on the bridge. Oh, hold on, sorry. Mr. Edgeworth, I warn you that I absolutely despise conjecture. If there is no blood on the bridge, then you have no proof that they even met there. Your Honor. Huh. <laughs> if you would listen to the testimony we have prepared, I'm sure you'll be convinced. The two of them most certainly did meet on the bridge that day. Why, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm not sure I like you wagging your finger at me as though I were some hoser! Detective, proceed with your testimony and stop being a cocky little prick! No promises, Your Honor. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, sir. Here we go, Mia. Hang on. Okay, now. Listen carefully, kitten. One little mistake and this guy will drink you for morning tea. Trust me and get ready. This is what's called a testimony. People say shit and then you have to tell them that they're fucking full of shit. And that's how it works. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. On the day of the incident, an unknown person phoned, uh, phoned the sergeant and asked to meet. Sergeant Hawthorne went to Dusky Bridge at the designated time and met with Mr. Falls. And that's where she was brutally murdered, sir. The criminal stuffed her body into his car trunk and tried to make a getaway. Mr. Falls was arrested at a police checkpoint which was set up at the base of the mountain. Mmm. Well, you certainly have established the importance of the bridge. <laughs> Naturally. Now, would the defense please hurry up and proceed with the cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination. Coming right up. Hey, hey, settle down there, get in. If you keep trembling like that, you're gonna make me spill my coffee. And that is a sin punishable by death. I'm not trembling, it's just cold in here. The courtroom can be a cold battlefield, all right. Especially for a beginner. I don't need you to worry about me, I mean. I mean the defendant, the witness, everyone's a beginner here. Ha! <laughs> oh, you got me there. Maybe you should keep your claws out and show them what you got, kitten. Uh. <laughs> also, I'm so sorry about that. My dog kind of freaked out. Oh, no, it's good. It's okay, man. Stay calm. Just remember those court proceeding videos you stayed up watching all last night. Aww. That's obviously how you get a law degree. I mean, how else do you do it? Do you want the crash course? All right. Well, with the absence of our uh, main character player, uh, Ren, I mean, you're me, yes. What, you, what are we doing here? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Okay, look through the thing again. Okay, one day of the incident, and I know that's important. I love. I have. Wait, there's the bridge. I knew. Look, can I look through the testimony real quick? All right. Okay. On the day, Sergio Hawthorne went to Dusky Bridge at the same the time and went met with Wallace. Okay, keep going. And there she was bleeding, murdered. Sir, keep going. The criminal stuffed her body into his car trunk and tried to make a getaway. Okay, keep going. Ah, uh, no, it's not wrong, Void. I had a time where I wanted to be a lawyer, too. Mr. Flawless was arrested at the police checkpoint and we set up at the base of the mountain. Okay. What evidence do we have? Alright, well, we have the, uh, hold on, let me scroll back. We have the, um, the autopsy report where she died between 4 and 5 and okay. the map right here. Okay. Look at the Okay, you can help. Someone just- you can Yeah, help. okay. Look at the testimonies again. So okay. she died somewhere between 4 and 5. Uh, okay. okay. You said guys want to press then. any testimony? Because it seems like that's what I do here. Okay. Um, on an unknown day of the incident of- uh, Can I see the other testimonies again? Just one more time. Uh, blah blah blah. The rest of you is Okay, first, uh, push the first, te like, the very first option. HOLD IT! This is an unknown person. You have no idea who it might be, right? Uh, sorry, but I'm afraid I do. 
What? Uh, the one who called Sergeant Hawthorne was the defendant, Terry Falls. What? The defendant? The defendant called her? Uh, Sergeant, Hawthorne, or Sergeant Hawthorne was a very thorough person, sir. She left a note about her phone call with Mr. Falls. A note? Yeah, a top secret memo that she left in her desk. Ah, uh, hmm. Well, according to this note, it seems the one who called her to the bridge was indeed the defendant, Terry Falls. Nah. Whose bright idea was it to keep that note from me? Ha! <laughs> Looks like the judge is even more sure of his verdict now. Listen up. Never ask a question if you don't already know the answer. It's the def detective's fault. He's the one that's an unknown person. Hey, now don't make that face. I'm just doing my job, man. I just said it that way because the prosecutor told me to. Was that a trap? With that cute <laughs> face. I didn't expect him to be so snarky. Snarky. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not into women. <laughs> I was about to say. <gasps> okay. Um. Designated time. Yeah, let me take a look at this. Uh. Let's look at the note. Okay. Uh, Four thirty. Talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time the whole truth must come. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 ominous. Wait, can we talk with the fat? Wait, that this is, is what bitches. she was talking about in the first trial. This that's is when she weird. mentioned they met before. I'm sorry, I'm now making a realization. Oh, Anyways, yeah. connections are being made, but uh, okay, this is okay. So, all right. 4.30, that bridge, wear white scarf, talk to Dahlia, tell her this time the whole truth must come out. Okay. Alright, what are we doing now? Hmm. Okay. Dusky bridge. You wanna keep pressing? He, he is in, in the testimony did say about the heavy coat, that one had you right. Whatever. Keep pressing. Oh, alright. Hold it! A bridge up in the mountains, but why why meet there? Because it's a very important place to the defendant, that's why. What do you mean by that? If you remember, five years ago, the defendant kidnapped a young girl. He was chased onto a bridge, and it was there that he killed his hostage. And the place where all of this occurred is, of course, Dusky Bridge. The very place where Sergeant Hawthorne arrested and handcuffed Mr. Falls. Ha! Returning to the scene of the crime. How nostalgic. Mars Mars! Anyways. Um, that's where she was brutally murdered, sir. What's after that? The criminal stuffed her body into the trunk to try to make a getaway. Keep going. Actually, you won't press that, because that's a... Information. Okay, yeah, press that. Hold it! Mr. Flawless had a car, then. Uh, well, that bridge is way up in the mountains, ma'am. The defendant and the victim both went up there by car. I mean, how else, right? Wait, what? You mean the defendant drove his own car? No, 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 of course not. I mean, no, it was, it was stolen. He stole it from a young couple that had been waiting at a red light. Mmm, car thieves. I'm not sure how I feel about car thieves. Is this guy sure about how he feels about anything? This is a photo of the stolen car's trunk. Mm -hmm. Naturally, that's the body of Valerie Hawthorne in there. Yeah. Whoa! 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 That didn't look too comfortable. Is she alright? No, 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 sir, it? that's... she's dead. Oh, that's no, a tragedy. It's something about her wearing a scarf, and she's not wearing a scarf in that photo. I feel like it's gonna be important later. Anyways... <laughs> You were stabbed in the back. You stabbed in the back, correct? Uh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> I will go from the front. From some reason, men always seem to be stabbed in the back. We're talking about a woman here. Yeah, I, I was just being coy. Sorry. I'll shut up now. Well, you can't tell from this photo, but... The knife was stuck in her back nice and firm. The condition of the body when it was discovered is very important information. Detective! Is there anything strange or noteworthy in the trunk of the car? Well, I mean, other than the fucking corpse, uh, here's a photo of the trunk, but I mean, I don't see anything strange. I mean, do you? I mean, anyway. Oh, well, I mean, 
I think this is the I think this is the part where you have to present it. So uh <laughs> yes, yes. So Trent, present how the note. Are we always end up doing this? I mean you're just I guess you just got that big brain energy. Who knows? Wait, is this gonna be objection or a hold it? I think this is an objection. Okay. Solid okay. objection. Alright. Objection! Yo Witness. What is it? Do you have something to say, Miss Faye? I'm sorry, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh. This is this is the first time I've ever actually addressed someone like that. Oh, all right, you're good. All right. Your practice for coming to court. I mean, I just you know, I you get the jitters, you know, butterflies. But I mean, honestly, Miss Faye, I'm not sure I like this. Okay, I'll be mean. <laughs> hey there, little kitten. Want a piece of my coffee candy? Candy? It'll cost you 25 cents. Well, you're still too young to be drinking real coffee. Uh, come on, Mia. Shake it off. You're a lawyer. You're just a little baby. You're just a little baby. Detective. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. This photo. You said there was nothing particular about it. Nothing particular about it is that Peculiar. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I, that's what I, I said. Well then, I suggest you take another look at this note written by the victim. The, the, the note? It very clearly says, wear white scarf for identification. The caller must have forgotten what the victim looked like. Thus, this, this special request? Oh, I, uh, 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 uh. I have one very similar question for you, Detective. Where is the white scarf? Ooh. I can't seem to find it in this photo. Um, well, to be honest, we uh, didn't find it in the trunk, ma'am. And you stop there? You should have looked for it! Ah! Yeah, Detective. The caller took her to where they identify herself, so I expect she did just that! Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do you have to say about this? <sighs> I wonder what I should get for lunch today. I see the defense is a little... <laughs> lacking. <laughs> the scarf you are searching so desperately for... Is it this one, perhaps? That's blue! Uh, he said purchase. Ah! That's blue! Wait, where'd you, where'd you find that, sir? On Dusky Bridge, I was there first and decided to conduct my own investigation. A no, Miles no, Edgeworth no. investigation! <laughs> well, you are colorblind, because that scarf is blue. Which, wh wh why didn't you tell me? I made a decision to keep all pieces of evidence in my personal satchel. It's the he safest place purse. I know. <laughs> my man purse is where I keep all of my important shit. This scarf, all my pieces of evidence, a picture of my friend from elementary school, you know, that sort of thing. Someone get me a photo of his man purse, I beg. <laughs> that hot shot sure has a flair for the dramatic. It's not exactly That's white. Blue. I mean, first of all... That's blue. That's blue. It's periwinkle. It's not that is blue. Look, it's not exactly white as the caller requested, but as you can see, it's it's close enough for what it was intended for. I mean, you know, it's like, hey, get a white scarf, and you're like, oh shit, I don't have a white scarf in my closet, so you just, I mean, you'd go for this one. We'd all go for this one, huh? I mean, I would go for that one. Mm. I mean, it looks like it spent some time in the mud, though. I mean, not surprising, it was drizzling on the mountain that day. Prosecutor Edward, he is intentionally hiding the scarf. The whole time! The court will accept this scarf into evidence. I'll, I'll scarf, scarf it down! It. Oh. Okay, now, if the attorney for the defense has finished embarrassing herself, <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to move on with the testimony. That is alright with you, isn't it, Miss Faye? Boy, would I like to wrap this scarf around your smarky little neck. Very good. Now, if we're done with this mud-covered scarf business, the prosecution moves to establish conclusively, and with hard evidence, that Miss Hawthorne and Mr. Falls did indeed to meet on that bridge that day. Further, we will show exactly what occurred there. Well, that sounds quite promising. I can't wait to hear all about it. 
Ugh. Everything is moving at his whim. Don't forget, Kitten. There is a reason why everyone considers this kid a genius. A genius, huh? Events on Dusky Brig. Actually, there, there's an eyewitness who was uh, there when an incident took place. This photo was accidentally taken by the witness. It shows the Vic wearing the scarf, sir. It was drizzling that day, unfortunately. It's a little hard to see what's going on. Anyway, the criminal shoved the victim down from behind and stabbed her in the back. It must have been when the scar fell off. Hmm. Looking at this photo... You really get the sense that this bridge is very high up? It is about a 40-foot drop from the bridge down to the Eagle River, Your Honor. <coughs> Mr. Edgeworth, who took this photo anyway? Let's just say that it was a well-intentioned third party. Aha! A potential witness! So why isn't this person in the courtroom? Uh, well, they said they absolutely did not want to testify. I wonder because, who this could be. Because uh, apparently that's allowed, I guess. The person in question is, oh, very delicate, Your Honor. She's also very small and fragile, and she might or might not have a very whimsical theme song whenever she talks. Sounds familiar, huh? Well, anyway, besides, as long as we have this photo, we see no reason to compel them to testify. I'm not sure how I feel about... I mean, it's a witness. We gotta hear all the witnesses. It's, it's kind of how this works, but whatever. Witness photo? Ooh. So, as you can see, Terry Falls had both the motive and the opportunity. I think it's quite clear at this point what happened on that bridge. Mm. Aha! The truth is becoming clear to me now! Huh? Huh? Yeah, yes, <laughs> it's quite obvious! He's clearly guilty! I'm doing this shit again! Not again? That's not fair! I haven't even, even done my cross-examination yet! Mm. What does hmm mean? It's, it's, it's my impression of a motor engine. Oh, it sounded like a cow. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, not what I intended, but all right. Yeah, I, I agree, Void. All my homies hate that little bitch. <laughs> all the homies hate. <laughs> Wait, hate who? Me? No, the the upcoming witness who is oh. mysteriously unnamed. Me, who already figured out who she was in like two seconds. I have no idea who it is. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Anyway, you'll hit her. Press! Do you press? I think we should press. I will. I will. You're welcome. Keep going, yeah. Alright. This photo is shaken by the wind and it shows the victim wearing a scarf. I wish that, that, that. I wish this was in color. Anyways, continue. <laughs> I'm just drizzling, so unfortunately, it's hard to see what. Keep going. Anyways, the colonel showed have the victim from. Down. Wait, can I see the picture of the the of the thing that, again? That wouldn't have worked because he's standing in front of her. Oh. Yeah, but so if he's standing in front of her, how is he gonna shove her down? Also, yeah. the knife was in her back. That is a good point. Should we present this photo? Yes. Yep. Objection! Objection! Oh, what? Huh? Huh? Oh. Your Honor, that statement contradicts the evidence. I'm, I'm sorry, but apparently it doesn't. I think the only thing out of place here is that pointer finger of yours. I guess. That could have been very well. That could be very well. All right, here, take this penalty and try thinking things through again, because apparently what? we didn't do it right. What the fuck? What? What's the problem? I couldn't. I think you presented line. the wrong piece of evidence. Hang on, Look it might it have up. been. No, it might have been we... this photo. Is it oh, objection? Oh. So the time of the crime was, there was a light drizzle coming down, correct? I mean, yeah, and fog too. I mean, just a generally soggy atmosphere, you know? You know, like how you leave your corn pops out and they're just like, ugh, you know? Well, I have evidence that doesn't go with this, that, the soggy atmosphere. But this is a photo of the victim's body that was found in the car trunk. It doesn't look very comfortable. She's dry. Con Considering the contradictions of, at the scene of the crime, something isn't right. She's not wet. She's dry. Well, by all means, please enlighten us as to what isn't right. What is it about this photo of the trunk that doesn't fit with the conditions that day? I wonder what it could be. 
Maybe she's dry. Take that! Naturally, the answer is right here. The victim's coat? As far as I can see, there's nothing strange about it. I, it's just regular coat. That's exactly what's strange. I'll be right back. Recall the testimony. What was the conditions on the bridge that day? It was drizzling and boggy. Dusky Bridge was all wet. If the victim really had fallen down on her stomach on top of the bridge, then the front of her coat should have been covered in mud. Well, oh, that, that, that's exactly right. The other day I fell on my muddy street, my gorgeous playoff beard was befouled. My beard. Objection. I do admit that the crime scene was quite wet that day. However, that doesn't mean that the top of the bridge itself was muddy. If your honor had fallen in the shower instead of on a muddy street, your glorious hockey beard, then how pride, is the scarf money? If pride it was on of the, the legal league would be wet but not muddy. Oh, I do like my hockey league. Fortunately, I have yet to test that. I mean, but your point is well taken. I am really good at hockey. You should see me on the rink. Can you prove that the surface of the bridge was muddy that day? Mm. The surface of the bridge, huh? The scarf. Huh. A real man wouldn't stand for a taunt like this. Go fuck him up, Mia! Neither would a real woman. Go get him! Of course I can. <gasps> Here's the evidence that proves the surface of the bridge is money. The scarf. Take that! Take that! The evidence is... This scarf. Ah! It should have. It should be obvious. If the scarf fell onto the bridge and got this muddy, it means the bridge. Or, the bridge was obviously covered in mud. <laughs> no! I can't be outwitted by this novice bimbo. Hey! Shame on you, buddy. Oh my god, that guy's really sexist. She just calls her a bimbo. Dude, what the hell? Well, Miss Faye's assertion makes perfect sense to me. OBJECTION! I do admit that there appears to be a contradiction between the condition of the victim's coat and a scarf. However, the real question is, why is there a contradiction? Huh? For every contradiction, there exists an explanation. Let's look at what the explanation is in this case, shall we? All right, it's not like he's gonna give me a choice here. Ha! <laughs> You're doing pretty well for a little kitten. Mr. Ar Armando, I cannot read. <laughs> Armando, don't wear it out. No matter what he says, a contradiction always comes down to a lie. It's either the victim discovered in the trunk the witness's photo showing the defendant and the victim. Or the witness's testimony that stated that she saw the moment of the murder. Just relax and think it over. It's pretty simple, isn't it? The false evidence. It's one of those three. Oh god, that guy's really cool. Oh my god. Mmm! What you said just now? I'm not sure I like that! That wasn't me, Your Honor. It's the... Coffee aficionado over here that said it. This court is not in the habit of accepting false evidence, you know. Eh, blame it on him, Your Honor. He's the one trying to slip false evidence to the courts. It's all his fault. What? It's not my fault! <sighs> but we won't let him. We'll expose the evidence as the filthy scam it really is. Yes! Your Honor, this is not fair! The false evidence okay. in the case is the score. So no, no, I don't think it's the scarf. You want to know why? why? Yeah. Because in the photo, that she's wearing the scarf, and there is the scarf to prove that there was a scarf. Was it the witness testimony? It's the witness's test, or the witness's photo of the body in the trunk. I think it's the testimony, because he kept saying things like he prepared it with the one guy. He so you want to do the um? <laughs> Did Edgeworth fucking plant a body? Uh, okay. You wanna do the witness testimony? What do you think, Trent? I mean, I don't know, we got three options, you know. 
one I want your, no, we want your genuine opinion. What do you think? All right. If Gumshoe is just doing his job, right? He's not fibbing, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we have the scarf saying, you know, okay, she didn't, like, die on Dusky Bridge because if the scarf was muddy, then the coat should also be muddy. Then the photo's fake? Maybe? I, look, I don't know. It's like, do you... What do you want to say? What, what is your opinion? Because you you got Ginger, the range here. Ginger, what are we debating when you're saying here? I think it's the photo. Okay. Let's do photo, and if it's wrong, we can just go back and do testimony. Yeah, I already saved, so it doesn't really matter. It's not body. I know that. About the photo that the prosecutor claims was taken by a witness. Sorry. I was reading something. It certainly seems to show a man in a prison uniform and a woman in a coat. However, we can't really tell any anything more any any more than that from the photo. Objection! Are you saying the people in the photo may not be the victim and the defendant? Well, that's certainly a possibility. So perhaps it was another prisoner and policewoman. I admit people have their quirks. Perhaps they were part of a role-playing group. Well, I suppose that's a possibility, I guess. You messed up again, kitten. That, you know what that means. <laughs> Mr. Armando! There should be something else that's even more suspicious. Now think the whole thing over again. Oh, we didn't have to save the game! Look at that! Yeah, from this point on, Miss Faye, I'll penalize you for making unsubstantiated accusations! Uh, don't do it again, Mia. Don't cry until you get home. In any case, this court is not in the habit of accepting false evidence, you know. We're repeating this. Yeah, blame it on him. He's fucking stupid and gay and shit. Yeah. But we won't let them. We'll fucking kick his ass, right, Mia? Yes, the false evidence in the case is the witness's testimony. I was correct. <laughs> it's no, it's a no-brainer. Obviously, it's the witness that's suspicious. Okay. During his earlier testimony, the detective pointed out the cruel, the cruelty fact. Crucial. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> the criminal shoved the victim down from behind and stabbed her in the back. Now, is that testimony exactly what the witness claims to have seen? Uh, yeah. That's what the witness told us. That testimony is full filled with holes. After all, the victim's coat isn't dry at all. Dirty is it all. dirty? That is true. It's, it's very clean. Ha! It's not just <laughs> true. <laughs> it's not just true. It's the truth. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if there was a truly decisive witness in this case, I am certain that Boy Wonder over there would have called them in the first place. Boy Wonder! Your Honor. The defense requests a cross-examination, cross-examine the eyewitness. The testimony presented so far is only vague, but contradictory as well. It's pretty vague, huh? I mean, these look like Robin, you know? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, it appears that we'll need to hear from your mystery witness after all, and we don't know who it could possibly fucking be! Who could it possibly be? Yeah, oh. we have no idea. Fine, like Mom, I'll get out my witness. Jeez. You should it's brace like yourself. It's for, not like she burned butterflies last time. For the brutal truth. Huh? Your Honor, the prosecution has no intention of hiding the witness from the court. We are prepared to present our witness at any time. Oh, very well. Then do it now, you fucking little bitch. Bring, bring, <laughs> bring her forth. She, he really said, bet you won't. <laughs> what Mr. Edgeworth said kind of worries me. What does he mean by the brutal truth? Now let's proceed with the testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, please go right ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. The prosecution summons the woman who saw the events that day with her very own eyes. That's it, Mia. The battle begins here. Witness, what is your name and occupation? 
There <laughs> she is! There he is! The bitch! The bitch! <laughs> Am I voicing her again? I'm yeah. assuming so. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone is so silent that I can hear their hearts going hitter patter. Mmm. I hate that fucking thing. When I look at you, how can I put it? You look as. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that no, shit. That's it. fucking weird. Skip it. Skipping it. I feel like I want to hurry up and. God no, damn it! No, Just no, stop no. being perverted, you fucking no. Canadian jackass! Wait, hey, not so fast! <sighs> As I said before, the witness is very sensitive and delicate. I would ask the court to please exercise care when addressing her. Yes, indeed. When has that ever mattered in an actual court? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. You are a true gentleman. Miss Faye, you could learn a lot from this man. <laughs> he's very cool. If he's such a gentleman, he sure doesn't act like one. It's because you're a fucking bitch and a harlot. Um, sir? Uh, mm, eh, eh, yeah, my, yeah, my dear. This is my first time here, so I'm sure I'll make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for all the trouble I might cause. Um, not at all! It's no trouble at all! Now then, may we please have your name and occupation? My name is, um, Melissa Foster. Liar! <gasps> Liar! I'm a college student. A, a, a freshman in the literature department. That's right. That's correct. You were on the scene when the unfortunate event occurred, correct? And you were the one who took this photo? Is that accurate? I cannot scream that. I'm sorry. How can you be so mean? Now see here! What are you doing shoving that in her face like that? Huh? But this is just a photograph! It's not like it's something dangerous. Next time I'll be forced to penalize you! Well, oh, what? For what? Literally! I, this is why For I hate this woman. For evidence? Like, Ginger, do you see why we hate this girl? <laughs> okay, just go. Uh-oh, I don't like... I don't like the turn this has taken. She gets away with everything she wants because she's pretty. <laughs> is she staring at me? Um... And you would be? Huh? I'm the defense attorney. My name's Mia Fey. I see. So you are. Now then, young lady, could you please give us your testimony? Y yes, Your Honor. I I'll do my best. She's such a fine little bitch. The witness is photographing. <laughs> I I was using my camera to take some pictures of wild flowers. Then I noticed there was two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Suddenly, they just started fighting! That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. And right after that, I called the police. Hmm. By the way, where were you standing when the incident occurred? I believe the map would be of help here. Um... I was standing right over here. I was standing in a beautiful field surrounded by tall cliffs. Mm, very Breath of the Wild like. Ooh, very pretty. So you took, right. the you took the photo from that location, eh? I brought the camera I was using at the time, just like Mr. Edgeworth asked me to. Oh, what a cute camera! Just no. Stop <laughs> being a perverted old man, you fucking Canadian prick! Stop it! It's weird! Yeah, this judge is not any better. I mean, the, at least the fucking <laughs> other judge is not a fucking creepo! He just has some slip-ups sometimes. Mostly he's just done I mean, with life and shit. He he was he was also... It's just her effect. Everyone's nice to her because she's pretty... Alright then, Miss Faye. Time for your cross-examination. Okay. But I warn you, make the witness cry again and you'll feel the wrath of my gavel! I'm gonna okay. bonk you. So I already saw, uh, uh, um... A, a kind of contradictory statement. She was around a bunch of tall cliffs, yes? Yes, yeah. but she was 
higher up, because the photo, you can see how high they are. Yeah. You're right? You can tell that they're- Right, look at the photo. Look at the photo. Can we... The photo has them at, like, pretty- yeah. Yeah. It would yeah, have been... they- She wouldn't have been able to take that photo seeing them. She would probably no. only see, like, their head. And can I look at the map real quick? Oh, alright. Okay. So, she was behind that cliff that's where, that has the five yards on it. She it's was behind like, that cliff. And she if was she directly the, left to the Eagle River text. Yeah. And so, that cliff would have bought, bl completely blocked her view from the bridge. She wouldn't have been able to take a photo because it's blocked. So, present the uh, photo here. Yes. Right. Yes. Objection! Witness. When you said you took a photo of the crucial moment, is that- is this what- what you meant? Uh... Hey. All I can see in this photo are two people facing each other. You testified that you saw two people- uh, two of them starting to fight. Normally, that's the kind of thing that we would refer to as a crucial moment. Why haven't you presented a photo like that? Well, you see... The photo we presented was the only one there was. But if you really wanted to capture a crucial moment... Then what happened next? You must have taken a photo of it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Er, I'm sorry, my Homer Simpson slipped out. Uh, my apologies, young lady. Miss Faye's assertion is not without a certain amount of merit. He can certainly downplay a situation, can't he? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like you. I used it all up. The film, I mean. You ran out of film! Uh, this photo was the last one. Can I look in the camera? <laughs> what? Huh. Unfortunately, that is the truth. I personally examined all the photographs she took that day. All the other photos are of the witness herself playing among the <laughs> wildflowers. It's really fucking stupid. I generally don't know why she'd use film to do that. Witness why didn't it say the- oh my god. I thought it was gonna be the thing of like, oh, you are not the right angle. Unless we did it at the wrong statement. We might have done that. I mean, no, we- I mean, we're getting dialogue here, so apparently we were right, we just had the wrong reasons. I don't know. Yeah. The witness herself then took the photos. You see, my camera has a timer feature built into it. You took a photos of yourself? Hmm. I remember taking some photos of myself once, too! Please, no details. It I seems that Miss Faye's assertion was not so decisive after all. Wait! Just a minute! Well, if she had no film left, she couldn't very well take more pictures, eh? But Miss Foster, perhaps then you could tell us about a different sort of photo. Photos of the incident that you took with your very own eyes. Shut up, Miles. Mr. Edgeworth, you're quite the poet. Stop, I'm gay. Shut up. Stop, I have a husband that's gonna be your boyfriend at some point. Very well then, <laughs> let's get back to the cross-examination. I forgot about that. Let's hear your yeah. thoughts on the fight that you witnessed. Remember the awful sweater he wore? Yes, Mr. Judge. Yeah, with the judge. <laughs> Boy, this guy is really a sucker for sweet talk. Ha! <laughs> And she's wearing the same outfit. It looks like the other kitten in the room is the one that's getting all the attention. Can you yeah. stop referring to me for those fucking kittens, especially Please women? To God. Why are all the men in this room sexist? I don't know, Ginger. None of us know. Okay, um, so... Okay. Move with it. Move. Yeah, apparently there's gonna be new... They started fighting. Present the- present them- because they started fighting. She said they were fighting as she took the photo, but they're well, far away from each other. They're nowhere close to each other They kind of addressed all. that in the last thing. They did. Like, she said she ran out of film. Okay, these are the new yes. statements right here. These are the new statements right here. 
They can tie it around the, the way that she wants right, to. Oh, if she tried to. Ten yards. Wait, can you look at the photo again? Like the map. Okie dokie. Okay. Something tells me she wouldn't have gotten very far. No, she wouldn't have gotten far. Yeah. That's only five yards right there. I think it's the ten yards. Would you, I was about to say, would Objection! You... Witness, your testimony is a joke. Huh? What? But, but, uh, I just... Miss Faye, I thought I warned you not to make the witness cry! I love when she does that with her hair. One short testimony and two bad contradictions. There's no possible excuse. You say there were t two contradictions? It's simple. Just look at the diagram on the air. According to her testimony, the two were on the middle of the bridge. But if they were, and the victim had turned around and tried to run, then what? Oh. Yeah, I was about to say it's broke. You would have hit a dead end. She said ten yards. She could have even. She couldn't even run five. Because Dusty Briggs' bridge is collapsed on that side. Sorry, I can't scream. My mic won't pick it you up. So just, uh, wah, what does this all uh, mean? Hoo, hoo, hoo. It's simple, Your Honor. The charming little witness told a charming little lie. That's all that there is to it. Uh, uh, uh. This beautiful young lady's been lying to the court. Objection! Just a moment, Your Honor. A uh, moment, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Your honor, allow me to personally apologize for the confusion. Hey, what do you mean? Oh. There's one major mistake in this diagram. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, what is he about to say what I think say? he's about to say? What? What are you referring to? Oh, is he doing the thing? It's all because this diagram was made oh. after the incident occurred. Uh, it's a very old bridge. We couldn't find any old official blueprints of it. So you're saying that diagram is outdated, Your Honor? Oh, 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 oh look, my fucking British nuts! Oh, oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. I just, for some reason, I feel like I such power behind that statement. I'm saying that even though this bridge is currently in disrepair. Mm. There's no evidence of the car that can prove the bridge was broken during the incident. You can't actually tell the condition of the bridge from this photo. I apologize to the court for not being more clear when I presented the evidence. How mm -hmm. What the hell? Ha! <laughs> that guy is good. Huh? What do you mean? He planned it from the beginning. He's a genius, all right. A diagram of the bridge was his insurance policy. What? That coward. Well, uh, Miss Faye, it seems you've once again made a reckless accusation. Oh, dear. So sorry, I... I should have been more careful of myself. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't your fault at all. Now then, shall we go on with the testimony? I'd like to establish once and for all what it was that the witness actually saw. Indeed. All right, young lady. May I ask you to please proceed with your testimony? But it, it, it's so hard to go on. Oh, my fucking God. We're all on your side, Miss Foster! There's That's no not need. your name! No need to worry, just go on, tell us what you saw, it's fine! Yes, sir. Don't call me, sir. It's not Please. your name. <laughs> I, just hear, lying I just hear really quietly, don't call me, sir. <laughs> Running from the creamy. 
After he stabbed her in the back, he quickly picked her up in his arms. Then he carried her over to the car. I, I suppose that was the only way he could make sure the body stayed hidden. He couldn't just leave the body on top of the bridge. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw. <laughs> I mean, he really could have just left. This is what I just think of, like, he really could have just if left. If anything, no she, he could have talked, because they've already established that the river below sweeps the bodies away, and it's hard to find the body, so really, could truly... Could have her off. Yeah, could have just pushed her off. Like you did such violence years. must have been difficult. Shut the fuck up. Stop being a simp. Number 15. Burking <laughs> foot lettuce. <laughs> The last thing you want on your Burger King burger Ginger. is somebody else's foot fungus. Yes, sir. I, I'm so shaken up. Shut up, Miss Foster. <laughs> You're not, not even that name. pretty. She's just a fucking liar. Oh my god. Burger King <laughs> foot lettuce. Holy shit. If he accepts the testimony as it is, we're, we're fucked. We're just done for. You know? Oh my god. Don't say that. Oh, well. Maybe I'll stop off at my favorite cafe on the way home. You want something? I can get you a cappuccino or something. You know, I'll just... I've never had coffee before. Oh, really? I mean, they make a really great mocha latte. Isn't that matcha? Mo mocha. It's mocha. mocha. It's, it's mocha. <laughs> it's not matcha. It's mocha. It's like... You ever hear this... Like okay, listen, listen. You ever hear the song, Live in La Vida Loca? There is a... There is a yeah, verse I'm called... Sorry. Yes, there's a, there's a line that says her skin is the color mocha. Like I fucking love that. I, every, every time I win a case, I go down to the karaoke and I sing that song every time. It is my I fucking need, jam. I, I now can... This is very much out of it. Can someone please go request Trent to go... Do it! That? Do it right now! <laughs> One of you fuckers do it, like, immediately. Please! I'm begging you! This is definitely not me suddenly asking the Discord to put in Trent Dubs Gato singing Live in La Vida Loca. Definitely not. Wink, wink. Anyway. How do you oh. spell his name? <laughs> Anyways, this, this trial isn't over yet. How do you spell... Oh, oh god, there's so many people typing. <laughs> 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 That's what I like to hear. Looks like you're getting another Ace Attorney song cover soon. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right, Miss Faye, your cross examination, if you please. The contradiction is staring at you right in the face, Mia. Go on and attack it. I keep wanting to say Maya, but her name is not Maya. <laughs> All right, but first, let's see what uh, what this lying liar is lying about. Let's see what this whore says. <laughs> it's fucking he bitch. Her, he quickly picked her up, uh, 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 stabbed her in the back. He quickly picked her up in his arms. Okay, next test. Is, is it going to be about the bridge? Then he that? carried her over to the car. Okay. How could I she know that? I suppose <gasps> that was the only way he could have kept made sure the body stayed I mean, hidden. I did bring up like an excellent point earlier. Like, if I was on top of like a river, right? Oh, then can we just are we presenting the map again? Probably. You want to do that? Yeah. Objection. Oh well, what do you know? Objection! A killer not wanting his victim to be found. I can't understand. I can understand. I can. Understand. However, I can't However, imagine. <laughs> The idea of moving the body for the purpose is clearly odd. There was a much easier way to make sure the body wasn't found. Why am I struggling to read today? Jesus. Well, what is it? Uh, take another look at the map of the area and you'll see it. There's a river right here. Yes. Below. Yes. Ginger, Ginger, you in my brain? <laughs> Let's go solve murder cases. Anyways. Let's become Lloyd. <laughs> Ginger, let's go. Can the three guys, Jay, Ginger, let's go start a law firm. <laughs> yeah, that will go he's perfectly going to... well. He's will... going to school to become a lawyer. Uh... <laughs> Earlier, Mr. Edgeworth pointed out something interesting about the river. Oh. It is windy. Yeah, I would do like an impression of Edgeworth just for the funnies. For those who are not aware, Eagle River is very no powerful current. 
Most bodies that fall in never recover. Uh, that was a really good impression. <laughs> in, in, the kidnapping case five, I that. in the kidnapping <laughs> case five years ago, the victim's body was carried away and never found. If ten murderer, murders were to occur at the same spot above Eagle River, you can bet your your boots that every single every other killer would have tossed the body into the water i, mean, I would do that should, oh my god she turned the body into the water i should try that order <laughs> order order i am very very upset by this as you can tell <laughs> i'm not sure i care for the way you put that miss Faye. This, this is just sexism at the, its finest but i must admit it does seem odd not to have thrown the body in the river i mean i would do that i mean i don't know about you What? How? 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 How would I? Ooh. Oh! Oh! oh. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. oh, how sad. Perhaps Miss I... Faye would do well to try taking a dip in the river herself. What? what the... I'm telling you to go jump off a bridge, Miss Faye. After all, you claim to be such an expert in the ways of nature. Jesus Christ. What are you talking about, you dick? <laughs> My point Edward. is that no matter how odd you may find the killer's method of body disposal, the fact is that this is what the killer did. None of your arguments have anything to do with what the witness saw. But the fact of the matter is, this killer, if it is the current witness, uh, like the, the one, uh, per, the, me as the defendant, if it is the defendant, the defendant knows that the body would be carried away because the defendant would have known years prior that the body, the current carries bodies away. Therefore, he would have thought back to this if that was a revenge kill and would have killed the, the current victim the same way his previous victim was killed. Mm, quite true. To both of those. Miss Faye, it seems your assertion is without merit after- I'm just- I'm just a fucking broken fucking music box at this point. OBJECTION! But what- what- what the witness claims has seen it totally ridiculously? OBJECTION! Surely you can't deny that the body was found in the trunk of the car. That's certainly consistent to what the witness has told us. Ugh. Please, witness, go on with your testimony. <laughs> oh my god. I'll try. Hang on, before we continue, I gotta show something uh, that Wait, Void is it the thing that Void sent? Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, Void, who's not here? Well, Void's in the stream chat. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. I'm, I'm just, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> but yeah, Ginger, are you seeing why we hate her? Yeah, she's a little fucking bitch. She's, she's a pick-me girl. She's, she's a pick-me girl. She's a lying girl. liar! She's Here's lying. the thing, though. She has one of the scariest- one of, like, the creepiest, like, breakdowns oh, in <laughs> So fucking true. <laughs> true! True! Should, when we okay, take but... a break, this should be our photo. Okay, but yeah. they should put, like, this- like, they should put Melissa at the top, and then at the bottom put the- put her other- <laughs> Alright, uh, anyway, go on. I'll try. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All you have to do is tell us only what you saw. Otherwise, the mean lady might yell at you again and she'll say something like, Oh, you're wrong because I'm stupid and I'm only a C cup when I'm probably most likely A. My fucking oh. chest is as flat as a fucking cutting board. Oh, and don't um, look at me. Really? Is it? I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. Is it? If that's, an, if that's an A cup, then. <laughs> that is not a trend. Trent, you were so wrong. I know. It's, that's Edgeworth not understanding what how women work. Who is he talking? He's about? sexist, but uh, he's a sexist gay person. Man, I'm sorry. You're know. calling me a flat. Look at her. <laughs> All right. It has I'll, nothing. I'll do my best. Can we stop talking about our? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know what's scary? The fact that I'm uh, very so uh, honest. <laughs> you guys don't need to rub it in. All right, here's the, uh, here's the new statement. So, so, 
He's not wrong. How else we have gone? Broke to... into the trunk of the stolen car and hit the body. If he, if okay, I don't know how cars work in this universe, but you could just pop the trunk from inside but, the but car. If you look at the photo. This is why I'm kind of defending this statement. Trenko, look at the photo of the body in the car. Oh, That's, wrong one. That is wrong not one. the correct photo. Sorry, hey, there's a lot photos. of photos. You see the look at that. Look at the top. Yeah, of it. it's cracked. So like, yeah. it's right. oh. I mean, there is some. I, th I think yeah. if this is the new statement, there's something yeah. wrong with it. But I think you just you're just on the wrong track. It's not like this didn't happen. I mean, yeah, he did break into it. Killer broke into it. Okay, and hid the body there. Okay, next test. Next statement. No, hang on. I just said I said this is the new statement. Like this is probably where the contradiction is. So. I'll give you guys a little brain exercise. Well, yeah, but I need to look at the other statements. I mean, sure. To see what contradicts. He couldn't just leave it, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Could have just leave it on top of the body on top of the bridge. Uh, the killer broke into the car, stole by, he couldn't, uh, then he, he can't. Like, all our evidences? Like, all our evidences? Or is this more of a thing that we just hit it? <laughs> what are we looking at? I don't know, just like, I wanna review it. Okay, wait, okay... Here's the whole thing! She couldn't have witnessed this happen! From where she is sitting, she cannot witness all this stuff. Because there's literally a mountain covering it. Mm. So how is she going to witness him bringing the body to the car? How is she going to witness that when there is a mountain covering her field of view? There is no way in hell that is going to be brought up because we've tried to bring it up multiple times. But straight up, witness that. Yeah, okay, so the bridge is right here, right? Oh, you guys can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> the bridge is above the Eagle River text. She's she's like next to, to the left of the Eagle River text. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole mountain there, which clearly you can see is higher, like from her and level of ground, based on the shadowing. The car. It's hiding the car. It would be completely blocking her vision of the car and part of the bridge. But we so, can't. Every time we've tried to point, every time we've tried to point it out, it doesn't do that. Well, you wanted to give it a uh, give it a spin this go time. Go back to the. Wait, are we doing it on the car thing? I mean, I guess. Want me to save it and give it a spin? Cause... Yeah, let's save. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, in for a penny, as they say. Bup, bup, but up. Objection! Well, Miss Foster, it looks like you've done it this time. Huh? Done what? Made a crucial mistake. A crucial mistake? Like what, Miss Faye? The killer broke into the trunk of the stolen car and hit the body there. You're saying you saw that, right? With your very own eyes? Ginger! Oh, fucking yeah. Oh, Ginger. Fucking yeah. <laughs> yes. And? Ginger, let's go so the law for it. You fail miserably. <laughs> it's simple, Miss Foster. Take a look at the diagram. The place you claim to have been to take the photo... Yes. ...today is here. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Even if you try to see the car... There's an out, an outcropping of rocks directly in the way. No! That's right, Miss Foster. From what you were standing, you could not have possibly seen the killer's car. Objection! Objection! I admit Don't that- Don't get to that! I admit that the diagram- Fuck you! Fuck you, Hobbit! I admit that the diagram shows a large <laughs> outcropping of rock. However, it isn't so tall that it would stop her from seeing the car. You know, maybe she had a ladder. Mm. Do you have okay, proof but... of that? Do you have proof of that? I'm sorry. Do okay, you but... have evidence of that, or are you just going off of hand? That little, that little image of Edward like pointing up and he's like grinning. He he looks so much like Phoenix there. No, he looks like fucking. He looks like fucking Von Karma. This is this is this is fresh Von Karma, Edgeworth. That's right. It's it's not high at all. Wait, do you, think do you have evidence of that? Do, you do we have evidence of that, or are we just saying we're gonna take the word? Because I don't think we should just take the word. I feel like there should be proof of evidence of that. I was able to see his car just fine. 
Liar! <laughs> I get too aggressive during this game. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sorry, but that doesn't... That just doesn't wash. Where? Where? I don't believe it was the witness who presented this as evidence to the court, yes. This is the location that the photo was taken Your photo tells all the full story. You can clearly see the left side. But the outcropping that is being referred to is really more like a cliff. Ah! <laughs> Your blue should have been completely cut off by this cliff. But still, you claim to have been able to see the killer's car! <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> order! Order in the court! What is the meaning of all this Bollyhoo bupkiss? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Canadian <laughs> words! Objection! <laughs> Your honor! D just mine. That's mine. I got it first. It's oh, my objection! <laughs> Don't jump to any hasty conclusions. The fact that the scapee fled in a stolen car was reported on the news. After witnessing a murder, I'm sure you can appreciate that the witness was very upset. She must have heard about the stolen car and convinced herself that she saw it or something like that. It's your turn. It is. But she was repeatedly warned before starting the testimony. Objection. Objection! No. There's not an objection there. Why do you keep saying objection? I want one. And you yeah, didn't you say it. it. Oh, Sorry, go ahead. Go I ahead. didn't notice. <laughs> objection! Anyways, she was told to testify only what she saw with her. I was reading something. I'm very sorry. Mm. Oh! Uh, Mr. Judge? Hey, what, 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 what's up? What do you I think I must have remembered things wrong. Yeah, no dip. Hold it! Hey, wait a minute. You can't just say that. Objection! Objection! Yes, she can. Mm. Fuck me! I'm, I'm the rule maker now. Miss Faye, no, no one on the- not! Tell <laughs> me! <laughs> no one on the I face of the- Edward. She's perfect. I mean, well, there is my mentor. He says he's perfect all the time. But I mean, I don't know. He's, he's kind of a dick, Edward. honestly. Wait, he's not Fight in the audience, me. is he? Is he? Hold on. Edgeworth. Fight me. No, fine. Ass. I'll throw hands. Oh my God. What is God, the, this, I think too aggressive. this game makes me so goddamn aggressive. <laughs> no one on the face of this planet is perfect. I mean, yeah, but quite true. I mean, you know what they say. To err is to human. To forgive, divine. I'm inclined to give the benefit of the doubt to our witness here because no, it's just you are dumb. You are dumb. In a real court, in a real court, no. everything. No, in the real, in in a real court, everything that the witness, every evidence that that witness uh, uh, presented, and any evidence uh, and any testimony that that witness were presented would be thrown out immediately if the witness had any bias or any other information outside of what they actually witnessed they would be yeah. thrown out of the court like a laughing stock yeah but this is i'm i'm from canada and courts we just forgive can people make, can i make a small request so i can go take a really quick bath and break can someone take over for like he's also a sin i can take over all right. Jesus. thank you i just really need to use that all right all right Junior, you're i'm me so up sorry to hear my dog in the background she's throwing right. a temper tantrum okay Ha! Save the tears for later, kitten. Stop calling me kitten. Save. Mr. Amanda. Don't look back until the trial is over. Now is the time to go forward. But, but, but that wasn't fair. Okay, kitten, you need to relax. Then you need to remember the other kitten's testimony. So, so tell me. How did you, did you, so tell me, did you like the fucking voice I used? I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> but also, how did she know that? How did she know that he broke into the trunk? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, Miss Foster, until you can explain how you knew that, 
You're going to have to have very suspicious people on the side of the courtroom. Well, witness? Well, I'm certain that he broke into the trunk. Because... Because there were marks left on the trunk lid. I'm certain they were scratch marks. How would you know that? Into it. How would you know that? You couldn't what? see. Let me see that photo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's true. These certainly look like scratch marks around the keyhole. <laughs> it's obvious this trunk has been broken open. Well, Miss Faye, are you satisfied? The judge is on her side. I can't make any mistakes here. What she just said, is there a contradiction in there somewhere? It doesn't work. Yeah. Bullshit, woman. Melissa Foster. It looks like you finally betrayed yourself. What? You said you were in a field taking photos of wildflowers. Welcome back, Ren. We're calling, we're calling, uh, Melissa Foster out on her bullshit, currently. Okay. Thank you. All right. We go to the next one. But even so, you knew about the scratches? The question is when. When did you get a chance to see those scratches? <laughs> finally. I finally got her, but then the prosecutor and the judge are going to defend her, and I'm going to scream. Ha! <laughs> I'm getting pretty tired of waiting over here. And perhaps it would be <laughs> faster <laughs> if Miss <laughs> Faye explained herself. <laughs> Your Honor, there's only one possible explanation. The reason the witness had seen the scratches was... She put the corpse in herself. I mean, a duh. We know this bitch is evil, like, you know, might as well. There's only one way the witness had a chance to see those scratches. How did she... I mean, yeah. Oh, that's the oh, What I, is it? I'm, I'm... Naturally. I, I have a question for you. <laughs> okay. It might, it might get explained later. That's why I'm not asking. All right. Um, when she opened the trunk and stuffed the corpse in herself... <laughs> The person who really hid the body in the trunk of that car was Melissa Foster. It was you that did it, wasn't it? But that, that, that's ridiculous. I I could never. The first the case was Chris great. He, he's the one that. I don't think so, Miss Foster. Mister Flawless had been the one that put the corpse in the trunk. He would have simply used the car key. There was no need to break it open. But, but he stole the car. <laughs> he stole it from a young couple that had been waiting at a red light. Which means the key would have still been in the ignition. Oh, I... I see. Thank you for telling us about those scratches, Miss Foster. Without that, we would have never uncovered the truth. The bat that couldn't have been Mr. Flawless that put the body in the trunk. Objection! No, 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 no. Preposterous! To even suggest that the witness put the body in there! If that, that were true, then how do you explain the photo that she took? The corpse could only have been put in the trunk when the incident occurred! We already know that at the time she was taking photographs. Now this is your chance, Mia. Finish this thing. On the contrary, I'm not so sure about that anymore, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> There's no need to think up too deeply on about it. What I'm saying is the shutter the shutter for this may have been pushed by Miss Foster herself. The camera. Camera, because there's a timer. Take that! Let's take another look at the camera, and you'll see what feature it has, shall we? It has a timer built into it. Even a mini tripod. Mm. That. Why? 
It's almost as if she had brought the camera just to take this photo. OBJECTION! What are you trying to say then, Miss Fay? That when the crime occurred, Miss Foster wasn't in the field as she claimed? Well, if she really did use the camera auto type, then the answer is yes, and she s was somewhere else. Exactly. She was not in the field. Hmm. Will the defense please explain further? Listen, this is a crucial point. Where was Miss Foster when the incident occurred? And answering that question will also make clear Miss Foster's true identity. Well then, please answer this question. Where was the bridge? Where was Melissa Foster when the incident on the bridge occurred? Okay. On top of a cliff thing? Or wait, right in was front she, of the cliff thing? Was she on this side? Was wait, hold on. Go, go to the Everyone. left. Everyone shut up, everyone shut Down. up. Down. Down. Like, right in that corner. Cause, like, right no, shut up. Shut up. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut She mm -hmm. would have had to set- Sorry, I didn't mean that to be rude. I was just like, in my brain, I'm getting very passionate. I apologize if that came off as rude. Anyway. So. She would have had to have time to set up the camera, push the timer, get all the way to that side of the bridge, and then shove the body in the car. Yes? Yes. So, with that in mind, where could she have been that would have allowed her, because she would have to get around that cliff. As we established, that cliff is steep. She can't just walk over it. Well, to get... set the, on the assumption that she can set the timer for as long as she wants, um, I mean, think about it. She had to know about the scratches, right? So she had to have been on this side, but... Maybe. Maybe we've got the facts wrong. What? We're trying. We're trying to. We're trying to bust this case open, like with the big, big ass fucking hammer. So, where do you think Melissa Foster really was, and what she was really doing? Because she was not she taking was behind, pictures. She was behind. The, the victim was stabbed behind the push bar. The victim was stabbed in the back, yes? Yeah. That means Melissa Melissa Foster would have had to be, come from behind the victim. So she was behind her. She was on the other side of the bridge. Um. Maybe? There's a bit of a problem with that right here, but, but uh But Edgeworth already said that that, wasn't, uh, that, that bridge may, wasn't broken at the time of the murder. I mean, sure. All right. Okay. Take that! Naturally, the witness was standing right here. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Huh. <sighs> Before pointing out where the witness was standing, Miss Fay should do something herself. She should figure out where she stands. If you catch my drift, apparently we got it wrong. Here, the drift wasn't certainly caught. Well, yes, failure is an excellent opportunity for growth. Now try being better next time. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, then where was she standing? Alright, what do you think, I, Trent? I still think it's, like, right in front of the cliff, because she could get, still get a picture on the level of the bridge at that angle, and then also get to the car. Would you like to phone a friend? Yes, Trent. Boop, 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 boop. Hello? Hi, where was she standing? Hey, tell me the list of cars to okay. Alright, here's the thing. You guys are gonna kick out of this. She's the victim. She's the V. Right? Because if she was not taking pictures, then she had to have been involved in this shit. You know? So she's V? She's V. For okay. Vendetta. All right, thank you. All right, I'm gonna go back to, uh, you know, being stupid or something. Bye. Okay, bye, bye. Gotta, gotta hate that guy. He's so fucking stupid. All right. Anyway. Take that! V. Take that! Naturally, the witness is right here. But that's, but, but that's, but that's where the victim, Miss Hawthorne, was standing. Ooh. Was she pretending to be? Well, I mean, he's not wrong. Miss Hawthorne was standing there. <laughs> order, 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 Miss Faye. What on earth? Your Honor, if I may. He just goes. No, you may not. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Are you parting? 
Are you parting the victim on the bridge the defendant fled by the car? We, oui. <laughs> yeah. But this would mean that there was no time to put the victim in the trunk. In other words, if someone put the body in the trunk, it could have been could have been before the defendant met the victim. Objection! Fuck you. How asinine! Of course Mr. Falls met with the victim! The only person with the opportunity to have put the victim in the trunk is the same man that killed her! Terry Falls! Objection! You still don't understand, do you, Mr. Edward? By the time the witness's photo was taken, the victim was already dead. The person in the photo was not Valerie Hawthorne! OBJECTION! Huh? WHAT?! I've never heard anything more ridiculous in my entire life! Then who exactly is the victim in this photo?! It's obvious, isn't it? It's your own witness! What? 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 It's po it's only possible explanation. The woman that Mr. Forrest really approved that kid was va not Valerie Hoffman. It was you, Melissa Foster. I want to say her <laughs> actual Me? Let me let's remember that it was raining and foggy on on the day of the mountain. Mr. Flawless himself believed that the woman in front of him was Valerie Hawthorne. OBJECTION! But, but, but the defendant knew Valerie Hawthorne very well! After all, she was the woman whose testimony helped get him convicted. OBJECTION! But you... But since then, my client has been spent five hard years in federal penitentiary. He couldn't remember exactly what she looked like anymore. You're just making this up as you go along! Where's your proof? Where's your proof? I've got it all here. The pieces of evidence will blow this case wide open. At the time of the incident, Mr. Flawless had forgotten what Valerie was. Well? Well. What do you think? I'm phoning a friend. Again? Ring, 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 ah! ring. Hey, yo, what, uh, what, what evidence do you think it is, Bestie? Oh, uh, it's a, it's a fucking no, because he needed her to wear a white scarf, because he didn't know what she looked like. <gasps> okay. All right, thank you, you Bestie. Uh, uh, all right. We gotta go. We gotta get back to this. All right, bye. bye. It's the scarf. It's the note. Take that, bitch. <laughs> Mr. Flawless had forgotten the victim's face. That's why he needed someone, a piece of identification. Namely, the muddy scarf. Ah. <laughs> ah. ah. Why am I always the bitchy characters? <laughs> I don't, well, then you're also Maya. <laughs> Maya's not a bitch. She it came. Was, yeah. I always... Uh, I'm gonna... Okay. It was Mr. Flawless who had requested that she wear this scarf. To identify herself. That was already proven by the note the victim left. In other words, as long as you were wearing a scarf like he asked, anyone could have pretended to be Valerie Hoffman. Even her own sister. We're related to her. I got him. Well, what do you have to say, Melissa Foster? Uh. <laughs> no, oh my god, I'm gonna run away. Bye, beach. Oh, wait, did I pass out? Never mind. Uh, I passed out. Mmm, she passed out. Uh, and then my head hit the wall. Where did Miss Foster go? Oh my god, I have object permanence! I can't see her anymore! No, she just. She fell over, Your Honor. She's collecting herself in the lobby. Hmm. It's obvious that Melissa Foster did it. She hid the body in the trunk and disguised herself as the victim. She set up the camera to snap a fake photo of them to- The only question is, why did she do it? 
Well, isn't that obvious? She's the real culprit. Ha! <laughs> well, we'll have to wait for Miss Foster to compose herself before we start again. Until then, this court is in recess! The defense and the prosecution are both to wait in their respective lobbies. Yes, Your Honor. Understood. Very well, this court is in recess! It doesn't mean go on the monkey bars. It's the wrong kind of recess. <laughs>